But other than that, it is definitely like the best we'll move. Move. Yeah, move. Yeah, move. Move. Yeah. 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 Because it just right. it never ends. And so right order. We got Alex Moe. All right. So yeah. Alex decides to pull. Pulls him into a, a bit of a half guard with a, with a knee shield. Okay. Michael is uh, pretty much trying to get around those legs. He's a little bit uh, too far forward, so he was easily, the off balance was, you know, was going to happen regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, he seems, it, it's interesting, the rest, wrestlers and MMA guys, especially when they're playing on their knees, they're Everybody more prone to just you don't have leg to race, uh, they, they'll hug your legs for long periods of time, they're, yeah. they're more so, you know, just thinking about getting around your legs, but in a traditional wrestling sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Alex right now. I'm actually trying to go for an Ogi Ezekiel, it looks like it. Ran. That was like a trend in our gym for a second. We had some guy get choked unconscious standing. From an OBZ? Yes. So Michael is in a position where it looks like he, he, he had a body lock going on, but because Alex had his feet on the hips, it would have been really difficult to get around the legs. So now they're going back to neutral, a seated versus standing situation. I believe so. So pretty much if, so here's the thing, this is what I, I like about this sort of rule set. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's no time limit, but realistically it's a 30 minute match and I think if you're a competent grabber, 30 minutes is long enough to get submission. Yeah, yeah, and the rule set is, like, ooh, he's backstabbing. Yeah, 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 yeah. oh. Michael doing a great job getting his knee uh, free from... Uh, hey, you can stand up on stage. So if it goes to 30 and nobody gets a submission, it's pretty much from both guys lose. There's no draw, there's no, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pretty much, you had 30 minutes. You had 30 minutes. You had yeah. your chance. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. I think that's nice. You cap it so you don't get Right, we don't get these long matches. Two and a half hour yeah. matches, which was insane. I had to actually leave early. I couldn't even see the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now Alex on top in a half guard situation. I believe Michael has a scorpion. Alex trying to, oh, good job using the scorpion to end up on top. And now he's past his legs, very good. So now he's in a side pin situation. All time in the world, right? Ooh, good job by, uh, by Alex Mo getting the arm across the head and then using it to get inside position. Good. Good frames, good inside position. See how Michael gets around the legs. He has a, a bit of a leg weave with that left arm. He's in half. He's in half guard now. He has a really good cross face with his right arm. Oh, but that butterfly hook does a great job off balancing, and now Alex is on top. standing. Right, here we go. Wrapping up the legs again. Trying to get past the legs. Nice. 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 Mm -hmm. Michael's too much. Oh, he's falling back on an 
Achilles. Oh, down. Oh, he has a heel lock. Oh, nice heel slip. That was really good. Yes! Yeah. Maybe he just didn't quite as fast. Yeah, it, I, I think it was definitely telegraphed for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in it. Now uh, Alex is on top. Michael now doesn't really. Now he has a little bit of frames. He should. He, he has a, like a wizard, an overhook with that right arm. But kind of pulls Alex into him. He doesn't have anything governing distance. Oh, now he's going for a no Ezekiel. Probably came from those. Yeah, it's never fun when somebody's forcing their fist into your neck. Sometimes kind of causes him to panic a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in half guard. I think Alex right now, if he could, he would try to get a butterfly hook with his right leg to free his trap leg, his left leg, and then he can pummel out and then start to go into the landed position. He's in a good spot though. Yeah, he just needs to free that leg from, I think, the, the scorpion. Yeah, Michael yeah, has a scorpion a again. Yep. So doing a great job, staying heavy, staying on top. He just needs to pick. Oh, okay. And somehow we end up with Michael having inside position, but Alex falls back on the leg. Michael does a great job clearing the leg, and we're back to neutral. This is where I feel a lot of people have the most trouble okay. just dealing with the knee shield and Michael no, uses the low knee shield to step right like, and come up on top. Passing that knee shield can be quite difficult. Yeah. You know, I still struggle a bit. Sometimes I try to stop, but it's yeah, just so tough. tight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably one of the more, uh, even for people who are pros, it's definitely like one of the more frustrating situations to deal with. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice two on one. Yeah. And Michael concedes, and Alex ends up on top again. Oh, getting past the legs. He just needs to get around that. Nice, good job creating an angle. But Michael using that top knee. Now he's using the bottom knee. He's, he's doing his best to keep his knees and elbows connected. Yeah. Now, we're, yeah, we're back in half guard. Yeah. That scorpion is tough to deal with. Nice, and he uses it to end up on top. And he might want to go for, I don't know, he's going for some, I, I don't know what that was, but he tried a interesting submission, and definitely Alex respected it, and we're back. Nice. It looked like it could have been a lot of fun. Just cash out, not fun. Not fun, yeah. All right, we're uh, pretty much, I believe, eight and a half minutes in. rather nine and a half minutes in. So we're getting close to the first 10 minutes. A lot of back and forth. Both guys really going after it, trying to control the position. Oh, is he going for, I think he was trying to throw up a triangle. Yeah. Michael doing a great job separating and using his, his body as a barrier between the knees and elbows. Mm -hmm. So now Alex has to pretty much look to bridge or try to sit up. Because he was already across the face as a reverse cross face. He should, oh, now it's not anymore. Now he can look to bridge into it. I wonder if he could have just kept it. Yeah. 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 Michael doing a great job now. We're going to have to see Alex utilize his frames, his inside position to uh, get his knee and elbow connected, or get a reverse shrimp. He's looking to bridge, he's looking to get more inside position. He already has his right elbow in. Oh, Michael, a little bit loose. Yep, that's time to pass. He ends up in the loose up pin. Yeah. 
That's sometimes it's, it's like even if Ooh, it's not so over the mound, nice. So this is like something that I think that, uh, even if you go for a submission, the loss of the submission shouldn't mean the loss of the position. So you lose the submission, but you should use it to like gain another position. So at least you can see it on top rather than like then scroll out and not scroll out, sorry, but rather like spaz up on top of you. Oh, armor! strategy you definitely want to anytime you're uh, trying to pass somebody you definitely want to push them on their back you know it's much easier to pass somebody when they're super high. where he does a majority of his work, he feels comfortable when somebody comes towards him. I don't feel like he is assertive in this seated guard position. I think he just stays there and wants Michael more so to come towards him. See, he's conceding the, the soup on the bottom. Very reactive. Right, more reactive than, than proactive, for sure. Nice, and I was in close guard. Not a bad strategy, especially for a 30-minute match. Yeah. I definitely will conserve my energy when I know I have some ones around. For a 30 minute match, you definitely Yeah. Sometimes close guard is a good thing. You definitely like, if you're, you can have a great close guard, you can use it, but at the same time, too, it's a great way to just chill out for a little bit. Now we uh, have a top block here. And he's doing a great job, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely he's trying to go for that line step again. He's trying to push Michael out of bounds. Back into the center. It's uh hey. immediately gets past the legs. I think he's trying to step over into the mound, he's trying to work up into the mound, but Alex Jr., great job stiff arming the head away. He can't come up with the, the, the head is being stiff arming. Yeah. He's doing a good job of coming up off of his mouth, making the stick of flattening his head. Yeah, dude! With all that energy expended, you want to take down, definitely. Send advice to get that guard pass. Nice. He gets the elbow away from the rim. Let's see if he can go into uh, uh, an arm triangle from here. Karagatame, maybe he can go into other submissions, but he's doing a great job already. He has them in the mount, and we're about halfway through this match. Keeping it entertaining, definitely. A lot of back and forth. Yeah. 
Alex right now back into the half guard passing, but Michael not doing a great job getting the scorpion in this lockdown position. Michael not really having, uh, I'm sorry, Alex not really having any answers as to how to get out of the uh, lockdown situation. Halfway! Halfway through. First 15 minutes. A lot of back and forth. We got 15 minutes left. Ooh, nice. Good job again by Michael ending up on top with that scorpion. That's a really nice sweep. I don't usually have a scorpion. Yeah. Again, Alex not really hasn't really shown Michael that he knows what to do. He keeps getting the half guard, but Michael doesn't really feel threatened because every time he's been put in half guard, he's just swept it and reversed it with the scorpion. Oh, oh nice! Nice job using that uh, post behind the uh, the tricep and, and just posting, getting the arm away from the head and then just turning right back into him to get his legs in front. Mike now trying to attack a front headlock from there. Not the easiest thing to do, especially when your opponent has inside position. Right now, Alex has a uh, left butterfly hook. Yeah. It was, yeah. Not a oh, Michael trying to put some heat on this. Not the easiest, but it's definitely Alex doing a great job. He's getting himself right back in front of his opponent. About uh, 13 and a half minutes left in this 30 minute match, submission only. So we're in half guard. Alex doing a great job getting his butterfly hook, hook in for a butterfly, uh, butterfly half. Back in close guard. Okay. Ops to lock up a body lock. And I think Alex is trying to hit like a close guard buggy, but I don't know. See, here's the thing. If you are you are going to go for the guillotine in this situation, you have to be on the strangle arm side. And right now, he's not on the strangle arm side. He's more on his right hand side instead of the, the left hand side, which was where the strangle was. I don't know that. I don't usually go for close guard guillotine either, though. <laughs> not as close to the close guard. Yeah, I think people, when um, they look at closed guard, they just see other people using closed guard as a means of control rather than proactively attack. So if you see that, whoa, I don't know what happened there, but that was amazing. Interesting scramble situation. Oh, but Michael did it again. control each other effectively, yeah. It's just so tiring having to constantly pass. Mm -hmm. Again, back into this half guard situation. Michael's definitely going to try to lock up a scorpion, and he does. Keeping those legs in and keeping his feet in is kind of important. All Alex really has to do is just bring his heel towards his butt. Stay, you you want to kill his ability to bring you to the side, right? Like, with the way Michael's doing it, he's doing a great job. What you want to do is you want to flatten them out, take your heel to your butt, just pummel your leg out of the scorpion situation, and then just be coming back to like regular half guard passing. Yeah. 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 Michael really effectively using the half guard scorpion to great effect, always ending up on top. This has been very competitive, a lot of back and forth. If I think, uh, if I want to say anybody's had an advantage because of how close they, the person's been in terms of getting a submission, I'd say Michael has been the closest. <laughs> you know, uh, pretty much getting into a mounted situation. So there's 10 minutes left. We'll see if anybody can get a submission in the next 10 minutes. Again, I, th I think now you're seeing fatigue work because it's a little bit easier to play in the past. Yep. Got it. Uh, he has really good, uh, really good uh, gas tank. Yes. Yes. Now we're back in the house. And 
I, I, would, I would honestly tell Michael, just take your time. Take the elbow away from the ribs. Just slowly. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he literally took it for a He took his elbow away from the ribs. And now he's, he's trying to frame on the upper body, but you see that's actually doing him a disservice because now, if Michael wants to attack, it becomes a lot easier because there's no elbow in the ribs. Now he's situation for Atlex if he, if he knows what's up, he's in an Achilles lock situation, and uses it to stand up, a little bit of a scramble, falls back on Achilles, Michael does a really good job speeding up into him, so to uh, free his knee away from any sort of danger. Mm -hmm. About eight and a half, eight fifty left. attacks as possible, but again, the, the lack of control is what keeps, uh, keeps missing. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah, he has that right hand on the foot. He's probably going to pop for the again. I think that's a good idea. I, look, I think Alex is going onto the shirt a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's only on the shirt. And the ref, yeah, the ref, yeah, takes the, it takes the grip off the shirt. Maybe the t-shirt's not for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. situation. He definitely needs to clear that walk. Yeah, there we go. Nice. He's almost past the knee shield and he gets past the knee shield, but that looks with a butterfly hook. He but he has his hips flat and that's that's a good thing because he can't yes using the left foot as a butterfly a hook of his own. Nice. And as you can see, unless Alex explosively bridges him, he can't really do anything because he's flat. And that was beautiful leg work by Michael getting around the uh, butterfly. Oh, explosively throws his legs in his face. Just a little bit of pain. And now we're in 50 feet. Okay. Not it. now protecting his primary leg, the leg that's being attacked or can be attacked is the, uh, the right leg, but the left leg is susceptible to toe holds. Oh! Oh! Goes for a toe hold of his own. Those toe holds are 50 to 25 minutes in, he's still shooting double legs. <laughs> we got five minutes left. How many times do you get to see people just do 
wrestling, you know, in a no time. Not the most optimal thing, but no. if you have the gas tank, yeah. 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 I, I would not be sure. Yeah. 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 Alex now using his uh, a top knee shield. I'm sorry, rather a low knee shield. He's passing. Maybe we'll see something. We got four and a half minutes left. We're getting close to that. Uh, that rule, if nobody gets a submission in 30 minutes, then we pretty much do not have a winner. Yeah. Again, we, you know, with this rule set, we think 30 minutes is enough to, for anybody to get a submission. But when it's two athletes at the same level, it could be very difficult. It's not the easiest thing to do. No, definitely not. And I would imagine that we can get a lot of They're doing both doing a really nice job. They've been rolling now for like 26 minutes, about 27 minutes. I don't think it hasn't gone down that much. It has no. definitely gone Hey! Yeah, I think you. Yeah, yeah I, I think Oh, falls back on the leg. Okay, okay. Gets into... Rolling! Like, yeah, honey hole inside the situation. All those names. All the names, yeah. Yeah. He's trying to get the bike. Oh. Alex does a great job, but he still has a hold of the leg and uses it to come up on top, which is the right thing to do. Yeah. If you, if you can't get your leg locked, just use it as a means of ending up in top position. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of underutilized sometimes. Yeah. I know I need to work on it. I think it, I think it's gonna go the whole thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'd be a little surprised to see. Yeah, if like somebody sub yeah hits a like a surprise submission. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to, he was trying to hit that armbar from the top. Is it really? That, uh, that Matthews GSP armbar. He's in really nicely. Yeah. I think it's, it's kind of a one trick coming in some aspects. Yeah. People see it coming. Again, we're in out. Nice. All Michael really has to do, yeah. I would have, I mean, I like it. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, if, if, again, the elbow has to be above the shoulder, so. What you want to do is you want to keep your hand flat for friction and then mm -hmm. walk it up like a spider and just take your time. And when you feel resistance, ratchet your arm. So you're just going to straighten your arm out. Oh, but he loses the arm. He's still in now. We got two and a half minutes left. Yeah, keep oh. that arm. Okay. Oh, Americana from top. And then he switches uh, off into the arm bar. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, Maybe we, yeah, it just keeps. He could keep go forever. Yeah. Jeez. I'm Two impressed. minutes left. I'm very impressed with those taking. Again, low knee shield. Mm -hmm. Pretty much kind of like a Z guard. Yeah, that's tricky to pass. Not easy. People have nice frames with their like knees. Yeah, just keep like their legs in front of you. Mm -hmm. Michael trying to. I, I want to assume like do like a like a cartwheel, jump over Kimura style kind of pass. Yeah. Michael did have a nice control on that arm when he fell back. It's like if he could just keep it a little bit. But I think the America is going to be strange drift, though. Yeah. Oh, I think he's going for Nestima. I, I thought about it for a little bit. It's that whip that. Yeah. It's really neat. Oh, loses it. The rat oh, Alex wants to see it. We have a minute 20 left. We're getting close. 30 minutes. Get out of the game. Get out of the game. Get out of the game. Get out Nice. Michael's trying to get around those legs, but he's going to balance, and it's uh, easy for Alex to end up on top. Beautiful back step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is heel exposure, but I would suggest he can try the secondary leg first. Yeah. There is heel exposure. Oh, oh, oh but Michael did a great job. He just uses his left No bite, oh, though. Oh, lateral knee bar, and then he uses it to get the outside heel bar. You, you really need to be very good at these to finish them. Most people, if you just kind of wait them out, will like let it go, which is a dangerous game, but still. Dang. Yeah, not many people have uh, good finishing mechanics on outside heel hooks. I completely agree. 20 seconds. They're hard to get. Much easier to get. Oh, yeah. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, for sure. So MMA guys, you know, notoriously tough. You know what I mean? Especially for like stepping bottom position. And the real uh, MMA guys nowadays like know how to play real tight too. So I was really trying to get my get leg going. I thought I had the advantage in, if we get into a leg entanglement. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, it's pretty much MMA guys are tough. You know. Yeah, MMA guys are, are probably uh, a skill that's now being uh, seen as. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's one of the main things I'm working on at Purple, right? Being able to wrestle up and you know, really kind of engage in those scrambles. Yeah, but yeah, good. lots of work to do, right? Yeah, of course. But again, you looked really good. The match was exciting. Yeah. And uh, yeah. a, lot, a lot to take away from you. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Hello. Hey, Michael, great work. Um, how do you feel about the match? It went the full 30. Anything that you felt like... You, you, I'm sure you had some anticipation in your mind. Is there anything that surprised you? Did it feel difficult to finish? Did you feel like there was a lot of things that, you know, that surprised yeah. you? Yeah, I mean, he had good position. Oh, uh, the mic, the mic. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah. He had good position. Um, mainly it was... Uh, he was getting in good spots that uh, even Mount is in a great spot in Jiu-Jitsu, so... I was getting a good spot there, but with a bigger guy, it's hard to get those swim triangles, so I'm not going to cast more of that or do anything like that. It's kind of part of, not the biggest part of my game. And then uh, I think the sweat helped and hurt both of us. It was it was uh, pretty humid in here, and so the leg locks were pretty easy to get out of. Jiu-Jitsu, I, I, I yeah. agree with that. Jiu-Jitsu's perspective changes when sweat is involved. Like the first couple of minutes dry, you have to have a, a different mindset, and then when it gets sweaty, it has to change. Like your, your perspective has to change. Yeah, I took my time in, in the leg lock positions early on to you know, try to bail out or get you know, across the knee line and do all that, but yeah. get stuck. But then later on, it was pretty easy to just do whatever I wanted. So. Yeah, again, yeah. very exciting match. Um, I wasn't anticipating that there being that much wrestling. Yeah. He hit a lot of great takedowns. And, I just um, tried to surprise him yeah, at some moments, but that was it, because I knew we weren't going to really stand up. But. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was all really cool. Man. Thanks, man. Really Wish we could have got a finish, but. No, it's all good. Oh, well. Yeah, I hear you.